Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. A special unit formed to fight cross border crime is credited with exposing wrongdoings in Star County. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson found out what lies beneath the surface of Operation Falling Star. It's called the Border Prosecution Unit. The Texas legislature created the unit about a decade ago. It was formed to fight crime south of the border. The unit, along with the FBI, DPS, and the District Attorney's Office, discovered embezzlement at the Star County Tax Assessor's Office. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Embezzlement and fictitious vehicle registrations, the two main issues at the heart of Operation Falling Star. The investigation resulted in the indictments of several tax assessor collector's office employees in 2015. Even the tax assessor, Maria Del Carmen Pena, was indicted. DPS, FBI, and the Star County District Attorney's Office worked the investigation with a lesser-known crime-fighting unit. A statement from Star County's assistant district attorney reads in part, With the assistance of the Border Prosecution Unit and the 229th Judicial District Attorney's Office, the investigation continued until prosecutors were confident they had solid cases. The Border Prosecution Unit gave domestic agencies the help they needed to uncover the role of drug trafficking organizations outside of the United States in Operation Falling Star. All border counties in the state of Texas are part of the unit. The fake vehicle registrations allowed crime organizations outside of the U.S. to transport drugs and people alike in and through the United States. Villarreal's statement goes on to read, The reason for this was that it was beneficial to these organizations if addresses or names of registered owners are fictitious, since it would be impossible for law enforcement to follow up with the actual owner of said vehicles. This makes it easier for these organizations to obtain vehicles and use them to transport contraband if there is no fear for the vehicle to be traced back to them. Some of the defendants in the Operation Falling Star investigation, including Fernando Alvarez, who pled guilty earlier this year to bribery, provided the fictitious vehicle registrations to those who would use them to transport narcotics and people. In fact, some vehicles fraudulently registered by some defendants were seized by authorities and were found to contain large amounts of narcotics. The registrations of these vehicles led investigators to names and addresses that did not exist. Several trials remain for defendants in this case, including Maria del Carmen Pena. Three more individuals were arrested less than a week ago. Those include former juvenile probation officer Reynaldo Alaniz. He's also charged with tampering with government documents. In the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News at 10.